a short video about tripart curve brushes and welding. On Pixelogic YouTube's channel, there is in the Ask ZBrush section a question why is my tripart curve brush not welding? And in that video, it is explained that it is best to give your mesh some thickness if you want to use it as a tripart curve brush. Now, does that mean that you cannot use a completely flat plane to draw out a tripart curve brush? Yes, you can. So I have created one, and if I draw it out, oops, I have to select it first. So B, the curve brush, and as you can see, it's completely flat and it does work. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo. There are a, a few things to take into account, but how do you create such a brush? It's best to create it from a polyplane 3D. So I'm going to append one. So append plane 3D. I'm going to select it. I don't need creasing, so I'm going to uncrease all and reconstruct my subdivisions. Like that. Delete my higher subdivisions. Select my Z modeler brush and delete that edge. And now I can add and it's multiple, so single. I can add edges over here. And in order to have a tripart curve brush, I need three separate poly groups, like that. Okay, so B and create insert mesh. I'm going to select a new one. Then in my stroke palette, I'm going to check curve mode and in my brush palette in modifiers section I'm going to check weld points and my curve resolution to 25. So now when I draw it out you see it actually works well. If I simplify this you will see that there may be some points that are not welded so control D you see they are not completely welded so control Z so what you can do is go to Geometry and Modify Topology and Weld Points. Now the points have been welded. Now if I subdivide it, you see the points have been welded. And I'm going to Control Z completely to show you another thing. So there are a few gotchas. I'm going to turn on Double. You can modify this plane to have a different form but you have to make sure that these points are aligned in the y direction otherwise it might not work well so what does that mean well i can unmask these points for instance and give it some depth so now that has some depth i can also oops, and i have to mask it move that one and for instance move that one over there that will all work because all the points as you can see like that are aligned in the y direction so what I can not do is for instance do something like that oops and move brush so something like that will not work but as long as the points are nicely aligned in Y direction this will work so if I now create or append it so create insert mesh and oh and I have to first select it so escape select my brush B create insert mesh and append it okay so in again in my modifiers palette well points and I'm going to up my curve risk to 25 so can draw it out, see that'll work. And again in geometry weld points. And as you can see, like that, you can have a flat mesh for a tripart curve brush brush. And this comes in handy if you want to draw out some flat strips without thickness, shape them and then later on give them thickness. That's easier to create 
a tripart curve brush with thickness and then have to delete the thicker part if you want to shape it and then again add thickness to it. So to create a tripart curve brush with a flat mesh you can follow the steps as I've shown in this video. Make sure to belt points and then you have a flat mesh that you can shape as expected or as uh, require or required. Of course, if you want to insert mesh, and I'm going to delete my higher subdivisions, if you want to taper it, of course, you can go to your stroke palette, go to your curve modifiers, check size, and adjust the curve over here, for instance, something like that. And then, of course, it tapers like that. And again, after having done so, go to geometry, belt points, and now I can subdivide this if I want to and shape it just like that. And shaping a flat mesh like that is easier than a thickened in many occasions, so that's why I wanted to share this with you. So now if I want this to have some thickness, I can go to my Z modeler, all polygons, and they will all be that maybe and I've got subdivisions so delete higher and like that so tripart curve brush with a flat mesh starting from a plain 3d you can shape it you can give it some depth but you have to make sure that the points in the y direction are aligned otherwise the points will not align when you draw it out and welding afterwards will have no use. So hope you found it useful. Bye.